Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Ba Chen. I'm Nima Kong. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of your part of Ulysses. Ass. Ah. Oh. Ulysses. James Joyce. Chop. Two sec three. Don't carry it like that. Mr. Jeezy said. You'll pull it out somewhere and lose it. You just buy one of these machines. You'll find them very handy. And so something. Mine would be often empty. Stephen said. The same room in our. The same wisdom. And I the same. Three times now. Three news from me here. Well, I can break them in this instant if I will. Because you don't save, Mr. Dizzy said, pointing his finger. You don't know yet what money is. Money is power. When you have lived as long as I have, I know. I know. If you've but knew. But what does Shakespeare say? Put back money in I press. I go. Stephen murmured. He lifted his gaze from the idol shelves to the old monster. He knew what money was. Mr. Dizzy said. He made money. A poet. S. But an Englishman too. Do you know what is the pride of the English? Wow. The sea's ruler. His sequel has lived on the empty bay. It seems history is to blame. On me and on my words. And hating. That on his empire. Stephen said. The sun never sets. Um, uh, Mr. Deasy cried. That's not English. A French god said that. He tapped his seven box against his thumbnail. I will tell you. He said solemnly. What is his proudest boast? I paid my way. Good man. Good man. I paid my way. I never borrowed a shilling in my life. Can you feel that? I owe nothing. Can you? Well, again. Nine pounds. Three pairs of socks. One pair of brogues. Taste. Corn. Ten guineas. Macan. One guinea. Fred Ryan. Two shillings. Temple. Two lunches. Wassel. One guinea. Cousins. Ten shillings. Bob Reynolds. Half a guinea. Coho. Three guineas. Mrs. Mackernan. Five weeks board. The lamp I have is useless. For the moment. No. Stephen answered. Mr. Deasy laughed with rich delight. Putting back his savings box. I knew you couldn't. He said joyously. But one day you must feel it. We are generous people, but we must also be just. I fear those big words. Stephen said. Which make us so unhappy. A man in tartan and Philippics. Albert Edward. 
Prince of Wales. You think me an old fogey and an old toy? His thoughtful voice said. I saw three generations since O'Connell's time. I remember the famine in 46. Before O'Connell did or before the prelates of your communion denounced him as a demagogue. You Finians forget some things. Glorious. Highest and immortal memory. The Lodge of Diamond and armor the splendid pong with corpses of papishes. Horse. Mast and armed. The Planter's Covenant. The Black North and True Blue Bible. Croppies lie down. Stephen scushed a brief gesture. I have rubble brother, me too. Mr. Jeezy said. On the spindle side. But I am descended from Sir John Black who diverted for the Union. We are all Irish. All King's sons. Alas. Stephen said. Pervise rectus. Mr. Deasy said firmly. Was his motto. Words of Dan to do so. The rocky road to Dublin. A gruff squire on horseback with shiny top boots. Soft air. Sir John. Soft air. Your Honor. Ah. Uh. Te. Ah. Uh. Te. Ah. Uh. Two top boots stroke dingling onto Dublin. Ola rala ra. Ola rala ready. That reminds me. Mr. Jeezy said. You can do me a favour. Mr. Didalus. With some of your literary friends. I have a letter here for the press. Sit down a moment. I have just a copy the end. He went to the desk near the window. Drum of his typewriter. Sit down. Excuse me. He said over his shoulder. The dictates of common sense. Just a moment. He peered from under his shaggy brows at the manuscript by his elbow end. Muttering. Began to pry the stiff buttons of the keyboard slowly sometimes blowing as he screwed up the drum to erase an error. Stephen seated himself listlessly before the princely presence. Framed around the walls images of vanished horses stood in homage. The amic had poised in air. Ward Hastings ripples. The Duke of Westminster shot over. The Duke of Beaufort Ceylon. Three de Press. 1866. Often Ryder sat them, watchful of a sign. He saw their speeds. Back in King's Course. And shouted with the shouts of Venice crowds. Phil stopped. Mr. Jeezy bit his keys. But prompt ventilation of this important question. Where kindly led me to get rich quick. Hunting his winners among the mud splash breaks. Amid the balls of bookies on their pitches and reek of the canteen. Over the motley slush. Even many favourable. Ten to one the field. Tessers and thimbleric girls we hurried by after the hoofs. The vine caps and jackets and past the meat fist women. A bitch's dame. Nuzzling thirstily her clove of orange. Shed strange show from the boys' play field and a worrying whistle. Ain. A goal. I am among them. Among their battling buddies in a medley. The jost of life. You mean that knock need mother's darling? He seems to be slightly crossic. Charles. Time shock rebounds. Shook by shark. Charles. 
us in a pour of battles. The frozen desp of the slain. A shout of spare spikes baited with men's bloodied guts. Now then, Mr. Dizzy said. Oisen. He came to the table, pinning together his sheets. Stephen stood up. I have put the matter into a nutshell. Mr. Dizzy said. It's about the photomouth disease. Just look through it. There can be no two opinions on the matter. May I trespass on your valuable space? That doctrine of laissez faire which so often in our history. Our cattle trade. The way of all our old industries. Liverpool ring which struck the Galway Harbour scheme. European conflagration. Crane supplies through the narrow waters of the channel. The plutoperfect imputability of the Department of Agriculture. Pardon to classical illusion. Cassandra. By a woman who was no better than she should be. To come to the point at issue. I don't mince words. Do I? Mr. Deasy asked as Stephen read on. Photomouth disease. Known as Scotch preparation. Sermon virus. Percentage of salted horses. To be continued.